when does your combo seniority start? So once so, you get out of school or? I was told your seniority doesn't start until you get your hard copy of your license. Not your paper that they give you, but your hard copy comes in. That's what I heard. Um, I'm not too sure if that has changed any or if it's different from when I went, you know, in 2016. If an SS job says dock worker, can you still become a line haul driver or are you stuck? Now, no, we're, we're so, talking about 90 days you can go through this driving school, right? As long as you have your permit. Well, at our terminal, I believe it's six months, not 90 days. They, they want at least six months commitment on the dock. What terminals do doctor driver training? I mean, it's pretty much nationwide. Is it worth it to come to Estes? Uh, in my opinion, it is. How you, Josh? Oh, yeah. The Estes is one of the most laid back when it comes to the LTL. I mean... Like that guy there that got fired from XPO for not pulling an overweight trailer would not happen here. You got, I mean, I've never had an issue. The OTR uh, regional, I loved it. Uh, you do have some up and downs there. I mean, it's depends on the uh, the time of the year, the way freight's going. But that position there will get you to know a lot about every terminal. Uh, and if you're at a bigger terminal and you're, and you're extra bored and they want you to cover some runs, you get to learn about what bid runs you like and don't like. I mean, that's a win-win there. That's what, we, that's what I did at, uh, when I was extra bored here. You know, I got to cover a bunch of bid runs, and I got to find out which ones, hey, stay away from that one. Hey, that one's for the money, for the time and the money. Can't beat that. When they say one year experience, is it the case that they really only hire those with two or more? Well, I'll be wasting my time if I only had one year. No, they really do hire you with one year, and they even hired, they'll even hire you without a year if you want to come on the dock or something like that. So, yeah, that's that's real. Oh, how many hours do you normally work? That's going to depend on your run, but Josh, how many hours do you normally work on, on, in a day? Uh, see, I go up to uh, Rockford, so, uh, and I meet my old buddy there that's in here, and uh, it's about five or so hours up there, you know, about, yeah, right around five hours, and then depending on uh, where your meat guy, he gets out late, whatever, I mean, it's trucking, so it's, it's going to always evolve, you know, but I usually typically do anywhere from 11, 12 hours. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I was going to say, you know, and it just depends on your run. My run, if it does like it should do, it's 12 to 14 hours. So it just depends on how many miles you run, what all are you doing, how many terminals are you going to have to hit. Do you have a meat guy? Is he going to have issues on the way to meet you? So the slow in winter for a new hire. Well, that's going to depend. The past winter for me wasn't very slow, and I was on the extra board. And, well, we had a really, a really bad winter everywhere in the country. Uh, but and COVID and all that's going on too. So this past winter for me worked out pretty good on the extra board. And Josh, how about you? Say, uh, I ended up snagging a bid uh, right before, well, right in the middle of winter, right towards the uh, end of December there. Uh, but I've never had an issue in the winter time uh, with the extra board. You might spend a little more time in the hotel. Freight slows down, but that's just general LTL. You know, winter time comes, it slows down. So you'll spend maybe a little more time in the hotel. But like I said, you're still going to be out there making money. Once once they get you out of the hotel, it's off to the races. Okay, does this just take new hires with automatic restriction? Uh, for the longest time, I heard they would not. But then a little while ago, someone said, they will take them, but I think if that's the case, you'll have to probably be a city driver. That way you're always at your terminal getting from one automatic truck to the next just in case it breaks down or something. Robert, do you guys do you know anything about that? I heard out in uh, Harrisburg, I believe, that they were getting some loaners that were automatics for people that uh, had the auto restriction on. I wouldn't recommend, uh, I mean, if you got your license with, the, with an auto, it, you know, it is what it is, but if you go from S to school, I believe they're going to make you take a manual, but I, I don't see why you wouldn't want to take a manual because you, you don't want that auto restriction. Even if the industry is going that way, 
you never know what the industry might do next week. So I would keep it. I'd rather have the option where you can drive a manual or an automatic. I would I wouldn't want to be stuck to one because that does limit you too. Like you're saying, you get you get to another terminal, you broke down. You might you might screw yourself out of some miles because they they don't have an automatic there for you to take. How can I get on? I have applied like three times. I am in Houston. Um, send me your name, phone number, email. I'll put in a referral for you, and then you fill out the application if you need to, and then call um, recruiting, or they might call you since one of their drivers referred you. Other than that, uh, just keep trying. Maybe you don't meet the qualifications. How can I get on with Estes out of Atlanta? Same deal. I tell you what, the best thing, man, uh, like I said, Estes has a list of directories of the terminal managers. Get on there, email that terminal manager. Pick up a phone, call them up, let them know, <clears throat> hey. Yes. You know, the job's not going to call you. You got to call it. There you go. You put in the application four times. Have you used me as a reference yet? Or, have, or heck, you can use Josh probably if you wanted to. No, use anybody. Give, it, give it all to Chris. <laughs> Don't give it to me. Give it to Chris. <laughs> there you go. See, Mr. Honeywell there, he says using me as a reference helps. There you go. So what's your email? My email is freighthauler87 at gmail.com. It's at the beginning of every video. And it's in the, uh, should be in the description of this video as well. How close to the terminal do you have to live? 75 mile radius.